Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. You should see me in the corner. Yesterday was one of my best friend Justine's birthday. We couldn't do anything yesterday for it because she worked the entire day Like she had one shift at her job and right when that shift ended she had another shift at her job and she was there until close So I wanted to like plan something do something but she was like can't so I was like okay We'll do something on the Thursday, which is today So tonight we're going to do a paint night and then go for drinks or whatever And she doesn't know that like I bought her all these gifts made a little surprise scavenger hunt for her so I have these envelopes and I have to make the scavenger hunt now because like we got to get going soon. I'm laughing so hard because these envelopes are my mom. <laughs> They're my mom's envelopes. So I'm going to start writing the scavenger hunt. Then I got to go place them at the locations and I'm going to, I think, glue little like chocolate bars to them. And then the last location is going to have her presents. So yeah, I was gonna bake her a cake, but I ended up not having time because I'm an idiot. But anyways, we gotta get started on this. So I have all the scavenger hunt stuff on my phone. I'm gonna write, write it in the book now. Okay, so we got all of them done. Now we're gonna put them in the envelopes. Okay. Okay. So we're driving right now to shoppers. I thought that the scavenger hunt like clues were kind of boring on their own. So I wanted her to have like a little chocolate bar. And then I think at when we get to the restaurant local, I'm going to have like a tequila shot ready for her. Because like we both are obsessed with tequila. It's our favorite drink to shoot. So um, I was thinking that's probably like the best one to do. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, okay? I, I don't have very much time, so I gotta go, okay? Love you guys, bye. Okay, so I got the chocolates. I got these uh, Ferrero Rochers. I thought it was perfect. There was like exactly five of them. I'll put one with each of the clues and then she'll just have a shot on the last one as well. So right now I'm heading to the first location to drop off the clue. I'm not sure if I wanna like hide the clues or actually go in and give them to someone that works there. For local, I'll have to give it in to someone that works there. But for the other ones, I could just hide them. But I think it's more fun if she like goes in and like, you know, interactively like asks for the clues. But the first one is our old work, which we both don't really have a good relationship with to say the least so I don't know if I we, I go into my old work and I'm like hey like it's probably like different people that work there but I'm scared if the manager or owner is gonna be in that might be an issue they might kick us out so I'm worried about that but I'm gonna go in and ask anyway so I'll let you guys know what happened okay peace okay so I just dropped off the fourth clue at Elgin Street Diner. I brought it in and the, the guys were all like staring at me like The manager was like do you want me to like hide it somewhere like funny so she has to like look for it and I was like Yes, yes, I do want you to do that. He's like, okay, I'll hide it in the dessert fridge So she has to look for it. I was like, that's so funny. Okay. I love this. Okay, so now we're headed to local I spent so much money on like Justine's presents and like also Christmas presents. I have no money in my bank account right now. My card got declined at Shoppers when I tried to buy those chocolates, by the way. So, uh, sis got no money, so I had to use my credit card. I, cause I didn't have time to like transfer money over from my savings. But yeah, currently a broke bitch. So I'll tell you guys like a quick story of all these things. The first spot we're going to is a fitness studio that we both used to work at and that's how we met. Like we were on a shift together one night and that's how we met and yada, 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 the rest is history. But it's not history, cause just wait. The second place is Hoolies. That's where we shared our first meal together. After one of our shifts, I was like, we were both having a really bad night. And I was like, you know what? You want to go to wing night? Like next door is Hoolies. They have wing night every Thursday night. And we always worked on Thursdays together. So I was like, let's go to wing night and get wings and drinks and talk about our feelings. So we went, didn't even really know each other. We got a little drunk and literally divulged our whole like traumatic life stories. And we were both kind of like crying and like, and after that we just became like best friends. Like we literally knew too, way too much about each other 
to not be best friends. We started hanging out so much and I was like so thankful for her because I was going through such like a rough time. But it was just so nice to have like a friend like her in a time where I really needed it. And she was so amazing. And she literally like we have so much in common that it's actually like kind of fucked up. So we went out a lot, we went for drinks a lot, we hung out a lot. Then the third location is Elgin Street Diner because every time we'd get drunk, we'd end up at Elgin Street Diner with like different random people. And we would always get poutine and hers was always caramelized onion poutine and mine was the four cheese poutine. And like every time we'd go there, either like she'd go to the bathroom or I'd go to the bathroom, we'd both order for each other because we both knew what the other person wanted. Then the fourth location is local, which is at Lansdowne, which is near my house. So we always go to local. Local is like our bar of choice. Usually when we go out, just because it's so close to me and I would usually pick Justine up when we would go out. It's like literally every Friday and Saturday. And we used to hang out with some like Red Blacks players. So it's like really easy for them because they usually live like right around Lansdowne because the stadium for the CFL stadium is like in Lansdowne. We'd go there like every Friday and Saturday night. We'd hang out there with all of our friends. That's also a place we take a lot of shots there. So we're gonna do shots. And then the last location is my house just because we hang out at my house, you know, quite often. We're here a lot. We bake cookies and you know, do stuff. And that's where all of her presents are. So they're at my house. So that's the last location. That was a fucking long story. I'm at local now. So I'll be right back. Peace. Okay, so we are driving to Justine's house right now. I got to local and told the hostess what was happening. So she went and got the bartender. He's also one of the managers. So he came over and he, he stopped me and he was just like, this sounds like so much fun and I wanna be a part of it. He's like, I'm totally down to do this. Like you prepay for the shots right now. They'll be ready to go and then I'll give her the clue when she gets here and you guys will do the shots. He's like, this is so awesome. Like, I think that's so much fun. And I was like, yay, I like people who seem hyped about my plan. Now we're going to go pick up Justine. I'll film when I get her in the car. I texted her that I'm here and she just texted back KK. So I'm at her apartment right now. Video. You're gonna open up the compartment there. No. This is what <laughs> did one time and there were like seven necklaces that fell out and I was like, I'm gonna break up with you in a week. Like, <laughs> what? Imagine, don't break up with me in a week. Okay, so now you've received your first clue of the scavenger hunt. No! <laughs> oh my god, thank you for that. I'm so glad I'm a friend of <laughs> Your first clue is easy. It's a place with many classes. It's also a place where your boss stole our taxes. <laughs> Our boss stole our taxes. Go to the place we first met. <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Let's go. We're on our way. Should I show this place? I can like blur. I'm gonna blur it out because. Branding and shit like that. Hola, I'm back. You're ending up in my video now. I hope you. <laughs> this face smells so familiar. Oh, it smells like bad memories. I mean. <clears throat> Your second clue isn't very far, it's where we shared our first meal and fell in love with Gar Park. Right next door to Hooli. Yeah, I thought I'd make it close. <laughs> I'm dead. Go do you like how I'm rhyming these though? I know, good for you. It took me all night. I was like, literally, how do I rhyme He's these? Like, the place felt so like, you know how like smelling things brings back like. No, there that place was like, it just smelled like. It smelled like home. <laughs> Okay, read it to the camera. You love new third two is easy. They're all easy so far, apparently. You turn off all of them with this next one. No, I only started two of them. Because it's the easiest one to rhyme. Easy, cheesy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, sorry. Your third two is easy. It's where you go get caramelized onions and get extra cheesy. Uh, Zach Diner? I mean, that's good. Zach. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perfect. Do you want to be in my video? Do you, yes. As much. A clue. You owe us a clue. Well, yeah, I know your clue. I hid your thing. He hid it, so do I, I told you. Find it? Yes, you do. Do I have a clue as to where it might be? Uh, the coldest place in the restaurant. Where's your fridge? Oh, this fridge. Is that too easy? <laughs> it's okay. 
I was like, can I go into your walk-in fridge? Am I allowed? <laughs> We're like, whoa, are we going on an adventure? It could have been a lot harder. I wasn't sure how hard to make it on you, so. I mean, we've been here a bunch of times. Yeah. He's like, I recognize We you. basically work here. Are you hiring him? <laughs> Just hired him, so a week ago, you would have had a job. Well, uh, let's see how he does. Yeah, we'll give him a second. We'll give him a second. <laughs> uh, your fourth queue is kind of lame. Go to the bar where we know everyone's name. Think. Think long and hard. Where do we know, like, every server's name? Local? Yeah. So you're going to downtown, you're going to Lansdowne? Lansdowne, yeah. yeah. We've done everything on Elgin Street now. Thank you so much, honestly. Thank you. Put your head on. transition <laughs> there we go he knows yeah. what he's doing he knows what's up he knows his shit yeah, it's still I'm filming. dying I'm getting the spins already jesse's already drunk one shot <clears throat> <clears throat> your next location is our final destination it's where you go to come see me and where you can chill with your good pal marty Aww. oh no <laughs> Tennis lovers at your house. Your house? Yeah, it's my house, yeah. Head into my place. Oh, sorry, to the left. I don't get my left. To the left, to the left. Everything Put you own up. in the box to the left. Do I start with? Whatever you want Why to start with. There's so many of them. Said that you could let it go, but I wouldn't catch a hunger with somebody that you used to know. Didn't have to cut me off. Just you know you want too big for my birthday. Ooh, I? Ooh. Smell it. You know, I actually know what this is because this is the one. This is from Bath and Body Works. Yeah. Okay, because every time I went, you know when you were like a teenager and you'd go and like spray yourself with all the perfumes in it? Yeah. The Japanese Blossom was always the one that I went for. I always went for warm vanilla sugar. <laughs> you're like, give it back. I don't want you to get your biggest present anymore. Actually, your biggest present is still in the mail, which is like annoying to me. So I decided I would give it to you for Christmas. Some simple things. No, 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 Put your no. big presents in the mail. Thank you. Oh, I love you. I love you. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh, is that the horse you're about? <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Santa baby. Fucking it's freezing. It's not even cold. Uh, did you just say it's not even cold? <laughs> okay, so when I burp, he's like, oh my god, it's so cute, but when Justine burps, it's like, you say nice one, but when I burp, when I burp, it's just yeah, gross. Okay. Um. This scene. <laughs> so. Shit, where's the microphone on this? It's so. Um. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm me! <laughs> <I'm being. laughs> just peeing right now. Um, but here's the bathroom. Sorry. So, Christina, 
I have, to, I have to make this a secret. I can't let him know what's happening right now. Christina's on the floor right now. But anyway. Thing we're talking, right? As people do. Um. But anywho. Um. Whatever. I thought it was casual. Okay, because it was my birthday celebration, right? As you do. And, um. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> She's not wrong. I'm not gonna let her use any of this footage. But! It's like upside down, you dumbass. <laughs> so I know Justine probably talked a lot of shit. But. We're also gonna end this video because she's probably gonna make me cut all of that shit out because we know that you can't talk too much shit on here because because we don't want to be problematic hoes. You know? Okay, so love you cuties. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe down below. I can't tell if this is out of focus or if I'm just like too drunk to like realize that it's like blurry. No, it's not ah! Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, that scared the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> okay. Comment, like, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for following us along with this video. I love you cuties. And I'll see you in my next video.